Hey, praise God this morning. I got some truth and some word this morning from, from the Lord and uh, from the word of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> so I want to read something this morning. Uh, 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 Second Peter chapter two, he was talking about this, these false teachers and false preachers and, 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 and false prophets and all these things and, and, and how they keep together false believers and stuff that he, that wasn't exactly in here, but they heap together these a whole congregation of false believers. You understand? That's what I see these days. But I want to I want to encourage you something today to keep you from that because right here and why you need to stay away from that kind of stuff. That's why you need to know the truth, so the truth can set you free from the lies. Because if they're under the influence of the prince of the power there, and you're listening to them, they're going to bring you into bondage. You understand? And I'm going to show you something this morning. We're going to read the word and, and show you. It says, uh, Second Peter chapter 2, verse 18. We're going to start there. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escape from them who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are servants of corruption. For of a for of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought into bondage. You listen to that. For of whom a man is overcome, the same as he brought into bondage. You'll be brought into bondage if they overcome you with their vain conversation, their vain, their, their corruptiveness. They, they, they profess godliness, but they deny holiness. That's not godliness. Godliness, I mean, uh, is actually to live a holy. It says, be ye holy eight times in the Bible, for he is holy. And if you spend time with God and you truly got a relationship with him in his truth and his word and his love and his spirit, then you're going to relate to him. You're going to be ye holy for he is holy. You know, you're going to, he's going to make you holy. You're going to relate to him. So right here, it says verse 20. I want to go on down here real quick before it goes off. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and savior, Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than they that have known it to turn away from the holy commandment delivered unto them by the grace of God we've been delivered from corruption into a into a godly and holy living in Christ do you understand but if we reject it by the way we live and go back to live in corruption then we are fooling ourselves or if we go up under people that are corrupted and we listen to them long enough they're going to entangle us again because they will overcome us if you don't believe Leave that read 18 through 21 uh second peter chapter 2 18 through 21 god bless you have a blessed and wonderful day praise the lord